In this short video, you will see how simple it is to mount the motor and drive path in an upblast or downblast shell. You will also see how easy it is to adjust the drive pack required CFM. In this demonstration, we are using a 5BDU15 upblast shell. The actions carried out in this demonstration would normally be with the fan shell already installed on a roof curb or wall. On the fan body is the fan nameplate which shows the approved motors and their electrical characteristics. Also shown is the maximum RPM with the correct drive pack. Here we see the label in greater detail. When the motor is installed the model and voltage wired for should be marked on the label in the area outlined. With the motor cover removed you see that the fan comes with installation and maintenance instructions, a motor mounting hardware pack that holds the mounting bolts, nuts and washers for the motor and a key for the fan shaft keyway. On sizes 15, 16 and 18, a different part pack is used that has longer bolts and half inch spacers. These spacers are required on some motors to ensure that the motor electrical box does not contact the fan shaft. For this demonstration we are using a 3 quarter horsepower single phase motor, 750 RPM, previously wired with a drive pack 15 inch EB. This combination on this fan gives a maximum catalog RPM of 1489 and a maximum CFM of 2811. All drive packs supplied by Fantec come with a variable pitch shiv which can be used to adjust the RPM or CFM of the fan. Opening the shiv decreases the RPM or CFM. Closing the shiv increases the RPM or CFM. Fan laws tells us that air volume is directly proportional to fan speed. With an A or 4L type belt, the shiv can be opened five complete turns for a maximum reduction of approximately 25%. With a B belt, the shift can be opened six complete turns for a maximum reduction of approximately 24%. Some tools that are required, half inch open jaw or combination wrench, socket set with wrench and extension, 532nd Allen key, multimeter, tachometer and spirit level. Other tools may be required depending on the installation. Mount the motor with the bolts and nuts in the parts pack. When using spacers you may find a small piece of tape holding the bolts and spacers in place makes installation easier. Using the correct slots for the motor mount plate, line up the bolts on the motor with the requisite slots in the fan motor mount bracket then secure with the nuts. Secure the motor with four nuts once all four nuts are finger tight only, the shivs can be installed. The motor shiv is fully adjustable, fully clothed gives the highest RPM or CFM. Mount the shiv onto the motor shaft, insert the key into the keyway which stops the shiv rotating. 
Then lock with the Allen screw. Mount the fan shiv onto the fan shaft using the key supplied from the parts pack. Roughly level the shivs before tightening. Put the belt on, tighten slightly by pulling sideways on the motor, ensure the belt is horizontal, and for this you can use a spirit level, and adjust the sheave height if required. Tighten the motor bolts, ensuring that the belt is tight, uh, deflection is the distance between the fan shaft and the motor shaft divided by 64. Tighten all four motor mount bolts. We now start the motor and we check for correct operation and rotation. The rotation is clockwise, looking from the top, and we're going to check the RPM. The maximum RPM on this fan is 1489, approximately. We shall also check the amp draw on the fan. The maximum amp draw is 11.7. We see that the RPM is 1491, pretty much book value. Checking the amp draw on the fan, we see it is 9.28, which is well within the motor's capability. Now is a good time to record the motor model used and the voltage wired for on the fan plate before reassembling the fan housing. However, not always is the maximum CFM required. In the next section we shall deal with adjusting the motor shift for RPM and CFM reduction. We look at the catalogue value for the 5BDU15 with an EB motor and we see at zero the maximum CFM is 2811. For our purposes, let's say we want 2650 CFM. So how do we adjust the motor shiv to get this CFM? The calculation we use is 1 minus 2650 divided by 2811, which will give us 0.57% or 1 full turn open, which is 5%. On a calculator, it looks like this. This should give us approximately 1414 RPM or 2670 CFM. We open the motor shiv one full turn. Slacken off the motor mount bolts and remove the fan belt to adjust the motor pulley. Using the Allen key, slacken off the Allen screw 
and open the shiv one full turn. Adjust half a turn, one full turn, tighten up the Allen screw, after which we put the fan belt back on to tighten up the motor, not forgetting to check the level of the belt and the belt tension. Start the fan and check the RPM. You see that the RPM is 1397, which is pretty close to book value of 1414. All that remains now is to check the amp drawer and button up the fan. The amp drawer of 9.2 is within the motor's capability. All that remains now is to Reassemble the motor cover. Here we have the fan with the motor cover installed. Thank you for watching this presentation. For more information on the Fantech Shell program, contact your local Fantech distributor. A list of authorized Fantech distributors is on the Fantech website at www.fantech.com dot net